Today on MTG Unpacked, we're getting stuck into the Core Set 2021 Chandra Planeswalker deck. So this is a mono red deck. You can see we get a foil there, Chandra Flames Catalyst. What else do we have here? Debt box, 60 card deck, one 15 card booster pack, strategy insert, two reference cards. And you also get a code to unlock the entire deck in MTG Arena. So very cool, looking forward to it. And I've got the protective wrapper here, presumably so people don't go stealing the code. Well, let's get into it. And we may need to bring back the world's sharpest knife here. Alright, that's more like it. So are you planning to pick up any of these decks? Or leave a note in the comments. And which is your favourite Planeswalker? So we've done the Liliana and Teferi so far. And next up it is Chandra, very cool. And we'll take a look at the foil here. So these Planeswalker decks are really meant for newer players. Fairly simple mechanics, nothing too crazy, powerful. But uh, yeah, definitely helpful for new players. Okay, we have Chandra Flames Catalyst, Legendary Planeswalker Chandra. It's a mythic. Five loyalty, four, six, so plus one. Chandra's Flames Catalyst deals three damage to each opponent. Minus two, you may cast target red instant or sorcery card from your graveyard. That spell will be put into your graveyard this turn. Exile it instead. And minus eight, discard your hand and draw seven cards. Until the end of turn, you may cast spells from your hand without paying their mana costs. Some very tasty foiling there. Alright, so let's get stuck into it. And these are going for about 12 bucks US. So not too bad value, especially because you get an MTG Arena code. Okay, we've got a pack there. We'll take a look at that later. And what is this flyer here? Before you play, okay, so learning a bit about Chandra. This is a mono red deck. I'm expecting like a very aggro strategy here, low mana costs and so forth. Playing the deck. Terms to know, non-creature spell, plus one, plus one counters, and non-combat damage. And here's a bit about what are Planeswalkers. If you are not familiar with them, you're new to magic, perhaps. Okay, so now we will get into the deck proper here. And I will be revealing the code for this deck at some point. There's only one code. So if you're lucky enough to get that one, leave a note in the comments so others don't worry about it okay so take a look at these little extra cards here we've got something about popular magic format so is there anything in here that is your favorite to leave a note in the comments parts of a turn combat damage and attacking and blocking just a helpful little reference card there okay so we will get into the deck we start off here with Chandra's Incinerator, creature elemental 6646 mana, so it's a rare. The spell costs X, that's cast where X is a total amount of non-combat damage dealt to your opponents this turn. So it has trample, and whenever a source you control deals non-combat damage to an opponent, Chandra's Incinerator deals that much damage to target creature or planeswalker that player controls. Okay, so a nice side benefit there. Next up we have Double Vision Enchantment for 5. Whenever you cast your first instant or sorcery spell each turn, copy that spell. Nice. You may choose new targets for the copy. Your eyes aren't playing tricks on you. I am. Okay then. Chandra's Firemore. That's pretty cool. Creature Hellion 4-2 for, for 5 with haste. So when it ends Splatterfield, you may search your library and or graveyard for a card named Chandra Flames Catalyst. Reveal it and put it into your hand. If you search your library this way, shuffle it. Okay, so that one is like tutoring for the Chandra. I think this card is exclusive to this deck. So we get two of those. Blister Spit Gremlin. Creature Gremlin, 1-1 one, one for a single red. Pay one tap. Does one damage to each opponent. And whenever you cast a non-creature spell, untap Blister Spit Gremlin. Next up we've got a Pyroceratops. Creature Elemental Dinosaur 2 3 for 4 with Trample. Whenever you cast non creature spell, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Pyroceratops. Okay, that's interesting. Chandra's Piling. Creature Elemental Lizard 1 3 for 2. Alright, whenever a source you control deals non combat damage to an opponent, Chandra's Piling gets plus 1 plus 0 and gains double strike until end of turn. Fantastic deal. 
So double strike deals both first strike and regular combat damage. In case you were wondering, so we get three of those. Heart Fire, Immolator, Creature, Human Wizard, 2, 2, 2, with Prowess. So whenever you cast a non-creature spell, this creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Pay red, sack it, it deals damage equal to its power to target creature or planeswalker. Okay, so getting in some damage there. So three of those, another gremlin. Spell Gorge are weird. Creature weird, 2-2 two, two for three. Whenever you cast non-creature spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on Spell Gorge are weird. Okay, so two of those. Carol Keep Disciples, Creature Human Monk, 4-3 four, for four. Whenever you activate a loyalty ability, ability of a Chandra Planeswalker, Carol Keep Disciples deals one damage to each opponent. That is a good deal. Okay, so cranking up the Chandra there, you get to do some extra damage. Three of those Storm Caller, Creature Uga Shaman. I think this is exclusive to this deck as well. 3 2 for 3. When Storm Caller enters the battlefield, it deals 2 damage to each opponent. Very cool indeed. So, four of those, complete playset. Okay, so now we will look at the mana here. I think it's going to be pretty much the same as the others. Okay, so you get 24 plus one of these nice mountains, if I can get it in focus. There we go. That's probably my favorite artwork of those new lands here in Core 2021. Next up we have Slaying Fire Instant for 3. Deals 3 damage to any target, has Adamant, so if at least 3 red mana was spent to cast a spell, it deals 4 damage instead. Okay, so we get 2 of those. Infuriate! Instant for a single red. Target creature gets plus three, plus two until end of turn. So two of those. Shock. How could you have a mono red deck without shock? Instant for a single red. Shock deals two damage to any target. So are we going to get four? Only three. Unleash Fury. Instant for two. Double the power of target creature until end of turn. Okay. And sure strike. Instant for two. Target creature gets plus three, plus zero, and gains first strike until end of turn. So it deals combat damage for four creatures without first strike. So a couple of those. Okay, so some nice little combat tricks at the end there. Bit of a strange deck. You are doing a bunch of damage, um, but there's some plus one, plus one counter stuff, which is normally associated with green, but I guess it works here too. Um, yeah, so interesting deck. Traditionally, mono red is my favorite, so definitely... Something I think would be fun if you're starting out as a newer player. Okay, let's get into this. So we'll see what we pulled. We'll start off with a knight token, an island, and we will slow roll here. Okay, let's take a look at the uncommons. Invigorating Surge, Enthralling Hold, and Bolt Hound for the uncommons. Then the commons we have Shock. There we go. Complete the playset, Infernal Scarring, Sabretooth Mauler, Anointed Chorister, Blood Glutton, Crypt Lurker, Sure Strike, there you go, another one to supplement the deck, Library Larcenist, Hobble Fiend, and Alpine Watchdog. So that's really the point of uh, putting these packs in here to get you used to deck building. Okay, here's the code. If you're lucky enough to snag that, leave a note in the comments. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. We have Droll Real Monbuli Recluse, legendary creature, human druid, 1 2 for 2. So whenever you draw your second card each turn, create a 2 2 green cat creature token. I like it. For 4 2 green and 2 end of turn, creatures you control of base power and toughness X, X, where X is the number of cards in your hand. All right, so not too bad. So we've already taken a look at the Teferi and Liliana decks. To come, we have Garrick and Basri. So stay tuned for those. Uh, let me know in the comments section what you think of these decks. Are you planning to pick them up? Are you a new player? Definitely a good starting point here. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.